Hi and welcome to another great video brought to you by AutoWave. In this video we're going to show you how to read the ISN from a BMW using the ACDP ISN module and adapter set. So first of all I'm going to go on to the app. On the app I will select BMW and then select DME ISN. Now I'm going to be reading it on the bench. So I hit bench. This at this point is where you select what chassis the vehicle is and which ECU type. I will show you in another video how to identify which type of adapter and the instructions uh, dependent on which model of vehicle you're trying to uh, trying to read the ISN for. In this case, I know it's from an N47 engine. So if I go to E series, which is what it's from, now on the right hand side we have various. Uh, options for help on different ECUs because there's actually four types that would suit the N47 engine. So I'll start at the bottom because I know it's the top one. So if we start here and I hit the help, you see a photo of the actual ECU. Now I can see that my ECU is actually different. So that's not the one that I require. So I'll go back out and I will select the next one. Again, I can see that this is not the one that I require. I'll then go to the third one. Right, so that looks a little bit more like my ECU. So if I then turn it over, have a look at the bottom, I can see that's what it looks like. If I look at the, the plugs, the plugs actually look the same. So I think that this is the one that I need to use. Let's give it a go. So on this instructions, you can see that it requires the X2 adapter. So it lists everything that you require to read the ISN from this particular ECU. So you've got the dongle, which we have here, the OBP ICP adapter, which we have here. You also have the X2 adapter which I have bought as a set with the X1, X2, X3, all available from autowave.co.uk. And we also have the ribbon cable, which will connect the two. Now, in order to read ISNs, you will need to purchase module three ISN module that authorizes the ISN reading function within the ACDP. So I've looked at the first screen. I've looked at the second screen. I've identified that that's what I'm going to need. So now if I take this out of the box, X2 adapter which is this one here I can see that's the one that I require and it shows me how it's going to go on it all fits in line I've not pushed it on yet and very important at this stage you'll also see where the jumper settings need to be so this is the old style of OBP this is the new style I have got the new style in my hand so I'm going to match up the jumper settings and what I need to do is I need to go change this jumper to the next step up. And that is very important. And also remember, you only require to change these jumpers when you're reading ISNs. So it's good to change it back at the end of the job. So you don't fail on the next job that you use the ACDP device on. So now I've configured my jumpers and I just need to connect the devices. I've already paired the ACDP to my phone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the instructions on the photo, very straightforward. Connect the adapter in. It's a nice snug fit. Put the ribbon connector on. Connect that into here. So that is all connected and now I'm ready to read the ISN. So if I now go to that ECU, very important to have a good quality internet connection. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the ECU. There's always help menus on here. This all this tells you is connect the ACDP properly. Let's try and identify the ECU. So we're starting the connection uh, and let's see what happens. See at the bottom, loaded program, 100%. So please connect 
ACDP with the DME, which we're doing, it's logging in the system and it's trying to identify the ECU. As you can see, you've got the LED come on and there we have it, it's red, the hardware number and it says series number as well. So we know we've got communication, identify the chip. So now it's actually connected, uh, sorry, it's, it's saved a, a log file. I always recommend taking a screenshot of all of the log files because that way I take the screenshot and know if I need to get this file again, I know exactly which direction to look in, whether I look through my phone or I look by connecting a USB connector. So now I'm gonna read the ISN. As it says again, please connect ACDP with DME, which we have already done. We're logging into the system and now very easily it's gonna read the ISN. Reading the chip data, it says please save EEPROM data. Uploading file on ACDP actually means saving file. So it's told me the file location that it saved the EEPROM. Again, I'm gonna take a screenshot. Screenshot taken. Hit OK. There we go. There's our ISN. So with that ISN, I can now copy it, either that or export it by saving it as a file. Save a file. That's saved. Hit OK. I quit back out of it and now I can complete my job on a lost keys of BMW because now I have the ISN. And I just proceed to reading, whether it be a CAS, FEM or whatever other uh, emo version is on there i will now be able to carry out a lost keys job and that is a simple way to use the acdp to read or write the isn on a bmw ecu thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel there's more great videos and log on our website for more information www.autowave.co.uk thank you